back at North High School. Hey, Chris, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I just got done interviewing Joe Sheehan. You got some big shoes to fill, man. Well, yeah, I've been just a lonely parochial school teacher, too. I mean, big shoes that he has, but uh, he's done a lot of nice work to try to get these schools together and establish things like that, and I know you and I worked on the referendum and get things like that, and I know he's very proud of all the people who have done so much work to get these gyms together, and, you know, it's, it is a special place, and I can hardly wait for baseball practice to start so we can be in here. And uh, You just want to drop those curtains down and have infield practice without the balls flying all over the place. No, it, it's true. It, it's been so nice that for the community and all that. Uh, like I said, he's been a very important person to have both this facility and the South facility and the fitness center and everything else. And uh, like I said, nothing, what else do you say about Mr. Sheehan? I think we're hearing Cleveland Rocks in the background. Let's talk a little bit about the second ball game tonight. Uh, Sheboygan North comes in with a 3-1 and record, 2-0 and in conference. South comes in 2-2, two and 0-1 two, oh and one in conference. Uh, they need a win tonight. South does. Yeah, they got a two-game losing streak, but they played uh, a very good Milwaukee Tech team. I believe they're ranked third in the state. Played them the other night, played a very good first half against them. And, uh, you know, I think Coach Schultz was really impressed with how his guys responded to how they played. They didn't come away with the victory, but I think it's a game like that that helps them feed into a game like today. <laughs> that jump gentleman was almost going to walk right in front of us, and then he saw right at the end. Uh, South taking on a whole different dimension to the game of basketball when it comes to offense. Yeah, they're just starting to shoot the threes big time, and uh, they got a whole bunch of kids that they're going to contribute. A lot of these same kids were kids that contributed on the football team. Uh, and Coach Schultz likes to wheel them in, wheel them out, which I'm not always 100% sure I like kids to get into a flow, but it seems to work for them. Kids seem to be happy, and, you know, they've been pumping up threes. Last four ball games, well, all four ball games, they got 103 attempts. They've hit 41 of them, so that's just a slew. You know, they're, you know, 10 a game, so very much like Sheboygan North, Sheboygan South, also shooting up the threes. So we're trying to, I was talking to uh, Dave Lubach from the press last night. We're trying to figure out the over and under for three-point attempts in this game. We're figuring maybe around 60-70. Uh, Tyson Pitch and Jake Beterwolf are a couple of players that our fans need to watch from South High. Yeah, Tyson Pitch averaging over 20 points a game. Jake Beterwolf, uh, again, had a huge game last year against Mantua as a freshman. Now just a sophomore. But Kyle Reuter had a nice ball game the other day. Nick Wilson's out there. Who's, well, I just love the way that kid jumped. And uh, just like that uh, Selk kid that's playing on the south side, this Lancer kid, he seems like what's his sixth, seventh year of eligibility for him too. But Andy Lancer's in for his senior season and a role in the middle. Let's talk a little bit about North High. They really are a two-headed monster when it comes to Kellner and Eirich. Yeah, they are, and very important person for Sheboygan North. I know it's the first time we're broadcasting it is. Uh, uh, not I was going to say Tim, his dad, Tom Eirich. Tom Eirich needs to stay out of foul trouble. He's basically their, their one of their only couple post players. He's a key to the team all year. He cannot get into foul trouble. T.J. Kellner last week went off for 35 against uh, uh, Manitowoc. Uh, he's been off to kind of a slow start, but he really came on fire last week. Another young man to watch, Nolan Free, their sixth man. He banged in threes last week, too. So I think it's going to be a free a holic today. Everybody's going to be bombing them. A couple things that really impressed me the couple times I got to watch them was how they took how North took a different uh, look to their game when Eric wasn't in the game. They didn't seem to have any inside presence. But then on the flip side, Nolan Free coming in. I mean, he's just been a ball of fire all year. Yeah, very much like uh, South. I think North too. They go really deep, and I think we said in the preseason uh, show, Coach has to tell us they got a lot of kids that can in, go in and out. Uh, you know. Andy Poles and Derek Teesing and Timmy Schwer, we didn't even mention these guys, but they got some other guys too, like Corey Dodge and Steve Lacey. Both teams are very, very deep. We're going to see a, a number of players contributing tonight and coming, so you don't know who's going to be the hero. It might be like a Jake Peterwolf and DJ Counter, but it might be one of those unknowns. Let me have you put your coach's hat on for a minute. North likes to press a lot. South has a couple of real good guards in uh, Pitch and Peterwolf. How does that affect the North press? Well, I, we, I watched North play uh, Milwaukee Riverside a couple weeks ago, and they press, and they just got beat down the floor. Same type of situation is going to be tonight. If South's going to beat them down the floor and get a lot of easy baskets, that's not what Coach Chesitel wants. He does want the game to go in flow, but you want to put some pressure on the press. We'll see if the North press can work work their magic, or the press or press uh, breaker for South is, is uh, the key. What was that over and under again on the three-pointers? I'll say 70. He just went up, I think, from about 61 or 62. 
We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the opening tip-off for the second ball game. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Diabetes is a killer. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke, and I was only 49. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to suffer a stroke than people without diabetes. And many who survive are severely disabled. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. Learn how to reduce your risk of stroke. Call for your free diabetes survival guide. Look, my first tooth. Dudley, spit out the toothpaste. <laughs> that was the first time you brushed your teeth. And I brush twice a day, every day. Oh, here's that nice dentist, Dr. Benchley. Yep, he showed me how to floss. Why are your teeth blue? I use my mouth guard whenever I play sports to protect my smile. And visit the dentist regularly. Remember, brush twice a day and floss once a day. of the starting lineups. There you see Zach Duquette. I don't believe Zach is one of the starters tonight. No. Starting will be number 11, Jake Biederwolf. Jake is a 5'10 sophomore. Also starting at number 11. Number 15 is Tyson Pitch. Tyson is a six foot senior. Also starting is uh, Nick Wilson, number 21. He's a 6'4 senior. Chris Hemsing is a 5'11 sophomore, and then rounding out the starting lineup is Andy Lancer, a 6'4 senior. For North, their starting lineup is a little different than it's been the couple times I've been here. Andy Poles will be starting, he's a 6' foot junior. Number four, there you see Derek Diesing, number five, he's a 6'1 senior, good three-point shooter. Number 25, Tim Schwerer is a 6'2 junior. Number 31, T.J. Kellner is a 6'3 scorer. That guy can really light it up. And rounding out the lineup for uh, North is number 51, 6'4 junior, Tom Eirich. Our officials for uh, this second ball game. Tolf, Tolef Winky and Fred Fullerton. There you see Tom Desitel in his 30th year of coaching here in Sheboygan. 
And our two officials are from Antigo, Chris. They yep. came a long way for this ball game. And Pete, Pete Fullington from uh, town, that's his brother. I want to send this thank you all once more. There you see Tim Schultz, the uh, coach at Sheboygan Salt in his second year. A uh, big thank you go out to all the guys who came over this morning and this afternoon to get things set up and get it ready for the live broadcast, especially to uh, Jim Yurk from Charter U Communications who came and gave of his time to get the line cleaned up as best we could for the game tonight. North took the opening tip but uh, lost the ball. South has it. Ball is tipped away. And Deezing going after it. We're going to get Derek Deezing with a pushing fall. Chris. Wow. Yeah. That's a tough call. Two guys rolling. That reminded me of the one here. they called on Tetzlug when uh, her and Selk were going after the ball in the corner. Wow. Where'd that call come from? Oh well. Play on. Tyson. On the bust out pitch, and he can sail, boy. That guy gets up in the air, and it's an easy two. Tyson's worked very hard on his ball game. Having an outstanding season. Looks so much stronger this year. Well, one of the reasons they may have put uh, Wilson in there is to get his height and his strength against uh, Eirich, but Eirich worked him over that time for a two-pointer and possibly a three-point play. Well, as the girls' game kind of went on and you knew who the, the uh, winner of that ball game was going to be, place got kind of quiet, but the electricity is back in this place. It's not the same as the Army, but you can see there's a lot of excitement in, uh, in the air, and Tommy Eirich uh, misses the uh, three-point play. Good composure by Jake Biederwolf when he fell down and uh, kept his composure and got the ball, ball to one of his teammates. Biederwolf being guarded by uh, Kellner. Pitch from outside the line. No good. A scramble for the ball. They say it went off of Kyle Reuter. Reuter didn't start the ball game, but he's in already. They it's have. Like uh, he got hacked on the arm to me. Yep. Well, there was a contact and no call there time. There's a contact, but Deezing got one before. <laughs> Where was the contact? Yeah. <laughs> Colts, you got a blocking call. That was a good call, in my estimation. Well, Sheboygan North starts four kids from St. Dominic School. Peggy Hensler, the principal over there, probably taught them everything they know. And Jonathan Hensler is right basketball? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan Hensler's next door to us here. He's working for WHBL. And uh, all the kids on the floor that are right now, except for Owen, Owen or uh, Andy Pools, was started at uh, St. Dominic's. Not too often a little Catholic school has all the starters. Eh, Holy Name came pretty good. Yeah, oh, God. The whew, they oh, had some yeah. good teams. <laughs> that was about 30, 35 years ago. Even in the 80s and 70s. Here's another young man, Andy Pools, who's worked very hard on his basketball game. Like Tyson. Schwerer working him over. Look at the pressure on both these teams. Intensity is way up here. Could be a dunk. Good body control by Nick Wilson to get the layup up and in. You know, and this is something we talked about in the opening. If Norris uh, full court pressure is going to give up a lot of layups, you know, yep. how beneficial is it? And Nick Wilson can jump out of the gym. Too bad he got hurt in the football season. Talk about good jumping. pick and roll, but uh, underlay and a Actually, I think it was a block, Chris. Yep. By Wilson, but uh, Eric missed the shot. Chris Hemsing of the many Hemsing brothers that have played at Sheboygan South. Tyson Pitch driving the lane. Got past the defender and laid it up and in. Yeah, he just went right by Timmy Schwer there. Deezing got pushed after the shot. That was a bad foul. There's no reason to do that. Kyle Reuter. Let's see if they give him three shots. As I said, uh, Tuesday night, Kyle had an outstanding ball game against Milwaukee Tech. South came out and won their tournament and then uh, lost one conference game. They've only played one because of that snow day, as we they mentioned. They lost to Notre game. Dame, I believe it was. Yep, and Notre Dame is doing very well. They beat Manitowoc last night. 
Oh, there's Coach Sikowski of uh, Notre Dame right in front of us with his staff. Now that guy can coach. Yeah, he's been a long time coach. Heck of a basketball player when he was in college, too. Casey Zakowski. Here comes Andy Lancer. Like I said, both teams are going to rotate quite a few players tonight. I hope South we can stay good inside with. presence, you know. And they're a little deeper than North on the inside, anyway. Yep. With Lancer, Reuter, and uh, Deasing makes the third free throw. And Wilson. Nolan Free in the ball game. Now, there's a guy we talked about. He's been having a good season so far. Let's see how he responds to the pressure of a North South game. South having troubles getting that initial pass in, but the rest of their press seems to be doing okay. Press breaker, that is. Right. Peter Wolf right around Kellner. A little drop step, and a shot is up and in by Tyson Pitch, and he has six points. It's 8 to 6 South. There's Alex Jordan. His dad retired. Yeah, just I think they might have had the party play. yesterday, yeah. Okay. I had to do a dance, uh, otherwise I would try to make it over there. Eric with a sweet 17 footer. What a great release. Walked right Rolling into that three trap. With a good his timing on that double team was exquisite. You know, he saw the guy turn his back, and he was right there when the guy turned back into the double team. Now, I don't think, you know, you can't just blame Jake Peterwolf for that. His partner, whoever, the guy came over to double, has got to scream double, 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 double because Jake doesn't have a chance there. And Nolan Free, as you said, comes over to set the trap. But again, poor, poor communication by South. I mean, we even do that stuff over on Fridays, us old people. Yeah. And that's something that young kids have got to know is whenever there's a double team, your, your guy goes to double. You've got to help, help your partner out there. Well, the other thing is he didn't have any release. You know, his guy had cleared past half court, wasn't back. North has been deadly at the line, hitting six of seven, six of eight, pardon me, and they lead it 10 to eight. There's what we're talking about. Zach Duquette relieving yep. pressure by hanging back. Yep. Zach had a nice football season as well. Lancer had uh, position just for a second, and then Eric came over and got him. Peter Wolf, good cover up defense by Kellner. Now, Kellner's the taller player there, so it's going to be tough for Peter Wolf to get that uh, open J. He's going to have to get some help from uh, going off screens. Good defense by uh, Tim Schwerer to knock it away from Tyson Pitch. There you get a good shot at Tyson, number 15 for the Red Wings. Tyson's dad, a good athlete too. Remember playing against him in the City League. Hempsing being hounded, now it's Duquette. Lancer from 16. Bango. Andy Lancer. He's had a nice athletic career at Sheboygan South. Alex Jordan forcing the issue. Couldn't get the layup in, but got the rebound. Nolan Free. Rolled it in. Three-pointer for Nolan Free. And he's picking up right where he left off. Peter Wolf had it tipped away, but Lancer right there to recover. Tyson pitch open. Bango. Oh, up and down action. Don't turn your head too far for too long. You're going to miss something. 13 all. Alex Jordan got away with a push. Rebound north. Schwer rolls off. Peter Wolf was fouled, I believe. Tim Eirich's going to get that. Tom Eirich, pardon me. No, it's going to be Alex Jordan. And uh, more subs in, more subs out. Tommy Olsen in for North. Tommy Olsen seeing a little more playing time as the season rolls along. Yeah, we had some cousin subs today. <laughs> Tommy committing to fall. He's officially in the book. <laughs> Not the way he wants to be. Nope. Got to move your feet. I think Tommy's quick enough to handle Tyson. Good job on the, you can always go backwards to go forward. Good job there, Tyson. Hempsing, probing, 
Oh, nice dish down deep by Hemsing, and then he throws it away. Pardon me, Kyle Rommel. Also in the ball game is Dick, Jake Schwartz, number 41. Good Jake, hustle. Jake diving. Good sportsmanship shown over there by Eric. <laughs> Those two guys at uh, the free throw line were interlock kind of shoving right. each other, and then they go over to the side and pick each other up. <laughs> but you're right, that's exactly what you do. Battle, 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 but you know, be a good sport when you, you hit the floor. And right just like that, here comes a couple more guys in. Corey Dodge stepping in, and uh, Tim Schwer back in. Tim Eirich getting a well-deserved rest at the 2.53 mark of the first quarter. We're all tied up at 13-13. Kellner, double screen outside the line. Nice soft touch, but couldn't get it to roll in. Hemsing has it on the bust out. Over to Rommel. His 13-footer is off. And Schwartz got the rebound, and he's fouled. He'll have two shots from the free throw line. All goes on Corey Dodge. Well, that was that's TJ's first look tonight. Yeah, he hasn't uh, gotten much. So that's fourth. maybe a little bit of a force, but uh, he was open there. Fourth team foul on North. Salt also with four team fouls. Schwarz with the free throw. Eirik back in. And Dodge was in for about 10 seconds. Nick Wilson back in too. Yep, Duquette out. Schwarz looks good at the free throw line. A great release. 15-13 south. Well, I think that was a good call, Chris. Yep. Shuffled him. Yeah. Peter Shuffled Wolf back on. in. Hempstein out. Or excuse me, Rommel out. There's that uh, wide receiver ability. Eirich's going to get called for another foul. Uh, I shouldn't say another. That'll be his first. Now, South struggled with that initial inbounds pass, but there they forced it a little bit with the athletic Wilson. And uh, Eirich picks up a cheap one down here. Dodge back in the ball game, along with uh, Andy Poles back in. South with the lead and the ball. That was a tough situation for Eirich there. He could either, uh, you know, let him go in for the layup or try to detest it, got a foul, and uh, gets him a foul, and now he sits on the bench, you know. Hey, you know, you let him go in for a layup, you sit on the bench, too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, good inside feed. Shot is up and in by Kyle Reuter. Way to use the bank. The bank is open. Pulls. And a quick whistle. Foul is going to be called on Chris Hemsing, and that'll be his second. Pitch will probably come in for him. You would think. Right there. Hemsing just a sophomore. Three sophomores playing for South. I know Tim uh, Schultz was really... Uh, Impressed with some of his players, the way they worked in the offseason. Schwer with a soft touch, but again it rolls off. South has the four-point lead and the ball. Reuter loads it up from way outside the line and got it in. Hey, I'm open. I better shoot it. 20 to 13. A very athletic South squad. A lot of these kids are multi-sport athletes. Kellner got it in and he's fouled by Pitch. That was a great move to the hoop. Well, TJ kind of flew into a Pitch there. That's a tough call there. I was thinking the same thing. And that's what Coach Schultz, he did. He jumped right back into him and uh, 
again, drawing a foul. Good thinking by uh, Kellner. And, you know, at high school level, you're going to get that call all the time. Only a third free throw miss by North, but uh, Kellner is usually pretty deadly on that. Biederwolf left wide open. He couldn't believe it. Kellner with the steal. Rolling down to a minute 10. Nolan free open from outside the line, but couldn't get it in. South comes away with it. Free on the good defense, and now they got the double team in the corner. Reuter jumps over the defense of Corey Dodge and puts it up and in. Three for three for Reuter. He has seven points in the first quarter. 22 to 15. South on top. They're dominating. Pitch on the tough defense. A little bit too tough. He's going to get called for a holding fall. And that's two for him now. And that's going to put them in a bind. Nine point leading score, I believe. Duquette and Lancer both coming in. Pitch and Wilson coming out. Eirich back in. Dodge out. And the 17th fall on South already. Kellner will be going to the line. He missed his uh, first free throw attempt a few seconds ago. A lot of work done at the free throw line for North in the first quarter. Many more of the free throw made than baskets made. 11, this is gonna be the 11th free throw attempt. They've made eight. 22 to 17. 40 seconds remaining. Biederwolf. Wow. Mango. Wow. You got to get on him. His first basket of the game. Schwer couldn't handle the long lead feed from Andy Poles, and it goes out of bounds. Let's see if uh, South, I don't know if they can hold it for 30 seconds. Neither team holds it for very long. They don't want to hold it for 30 seconds. What is that, Grinnell? Is that the team that scores yeah. all the points? <laughs> yeah. They ain't going to hold it for 30 seconds. Get rid of the rock. Nobody there with the double again. They've had them before, and it's happened before. you got to have a guy that can kick back to the well, reverse the pass. You know what? Duquette stayed back, but he didn't come over. Nope. Got to get to at least midcourt. Or have somebody to just drop back to. You I mean, it's just a, that's a bad turnover. That can be fixed. 15 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It's 25 to 17 south. They've uh, played very well in this first quarter. Now, I don't want to foul here. You get bonus time for north as the clock's ticking. Free from way outside the line, and he got it in. Nolan free at the buzzer. And that's the end of the first quarter. 25 south, 20 for north. Parents, there's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. Combine ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So, have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. There you see some of the uh, North High fans all dressed up. What a first quarter, Chris. Boy, oh boy. Very exciting first quarter. South had three three-point baskets. North had two three-point baskets. Uh, North got to the line a lot. I think it was 11 times, and they made eight of them. South only went to the line twice, but uh, they had 10 baskets. Yeah, and I have them 10 for 13 shooting, Marty. That's just outstanding. There's good and bad to that. Uh-oh. They're not going to keep it up. <laughs> a north in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Uh, they played this against Manitowoc. Well, a little change up here. See if South can find the open guy. Well, usually what you want to do is dribble into the gaps and then dish it out. Bingo. That's correct. There's a gap. 
And a sh pass out, and Biederwolf is open. Can't get it in. It does slow the game down a little bit. Playing a zone. South continues in a man-to-man -man defense. Duquette on uh, TJ Kellner. North five for 12 in that opening quarter, plus all those free throw attempts, so they are getting not plenty of opportunities to shoot. Kellner got it in from outside the line. TJ Kellner. Seven points for TJ. Well, I'm way below my pick of uh, 73s. We only got 10 attempts so far. I was going to say with the zone, you know, it slows down the game. It's going to be harder to get those uh, three-pointers up. Inside feed to Nick Wilson. Nice dish off. Shot is no good by Schwarz. And then we get a battle on the floor. Boy, good, good pass by Wilson. You got to finish it, uh, finish that one up there, Jake. Hey, Pete Peterson on the right, and uh, Bill Wagner on the left. Play with uh, Pete's sister, uh, tennis in the summer. Yeah, Mary Beth. Mary Beth. Very Alex, entertaining ball game so far. Alex Jordan on top. Dodge with it now. Kicks it out to Free who's open. Reuter with a strong rebound and then a foul from behind. It's going to get called on Alex Jordan and that's going to be his second foul. Andy pulls in for guess who? <laughs> <laughs> In case you weren't watching your TV, <laughs> he was in for Alex Jordan, Jordan, who just committed the foul. That's right. I was going to say that. Well, if you got a good picture, make sure you call TV8. If you got a lousy picture, don't call. <laughs> Peter Wolf. Good scrambling deep by North. South doing a very nice job. Just don't turn it over. Patience, patience. You can always go backwards to go forwards. Nick Wilson doing a nice job coming out to, to meet the passes, and then you got to ditch to the wings there. You know what I think helps you on that 1-3-1 one, one is having a tall guy at the point like Kellner with the long arms. You know, it's hard to reverse the ball. You know who does a real nice job of that is Oosberg. they got all those houses up there. Uh, Kellner travel. I almost thought he was going to get away with it, but a good call by the official. I remember when uh, back in... Uh, 86 when uh, Chilton went to the state tournament we played a 1-3-1 one, one, and we had a kid at the point our point guard named Jim Ronk who was built like Kellner you know long arms and it, it was real hard for teams to reverse the ball and then when they did reverse it they had to go up against a uh, 6-8 guy Scott Bruckner it was hard to get the wing shot not there though Peter Wolf with a three I was wondering if Jake was going to be set enough he has a quick release there I wasn't going to sure if he was going to make that one but good job by Jake to bang that one in Kellner with a runner can't get it. Dodge with a rebound, but he brought the ball down, and Biederwolf tied him up. That was the first basket by South. We're almost three minutes in. That 1-3-1 uh, has slowed South down. It was at the quarter, 25 to 20. Well, it slows North down, too. They only got one basket. But they were able to close the gap. You know, only yep. down by two until that three-point basket. Yep. Second quarter definitely taking a different look. I don't think we're going to hit 40 points by either team. And this isn't a bad idea by South. We got the lead and the ball. And uh, you guys can't, I can't get 73s if you guys hold it. <laughs> Steal. Kellner. Oh, he got him. He got hacked on that. Peter Wolf got it away from him. And then Dodge is going to get called for a foul. That's a tough one to take because he is going for the ball, but uh, when you take the player out, what are you going to do? Got to call it. I take that back about uh, Kellner getting hacked because he didn't say a thing when uh, Biederwolf knocked it away from him. So maybe that was a clean steal. Jake is going to go to the line. Jake Biederwolf. 
First free throw attempts for them? No, they had oh, uh, yeah, Jake right. Schwartz at two for two. Yep, when well, he got uh, fouled inside. Yep, and this is only attempts number three and four. Now it'll be four, because he was in the bonus. But I knew he was going to make the first one. 29-23 south on top. Kellner with the board. And he pulls on the push. Deezing back in the ball game. He's been out for quite a while, Chris. Eirich going to get fouled on the move to the basket by uh, Nick Wilson. Nick. You know, I get the feeling that Eirich thinks he can take Wilson to the hoop anytime he wants. That's just, you know, just standing up here and watching his, you know, body motions and things. They can't hear you when you nod your head. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you, Marty. Andy Lancer back in. We haven't seen much of him so far. Yeah, a little bit in the first and now coming back in the second. You're right. One for two trip makes it 29-24 south on top. Rolling to the uh, four minute mark of the second quarter. Let's see if Lancer does a nice job up top like Wilson did. Tell you what, they're struggling a little bit on their turnovers or their passes. They got to be a little more, more clean on their passes see and they float so North can scramble back and uh, recover on when the ball's in the air there's a turnover a good defense by uh, Derek Deasing dropping back underneath and stealing the ball away from Reuter and uh, Reuter on his trip down the floor tips it out of bounds away from Kellner Duquette back in four turnovers here in the uh, quarter for South and they've only got Three shot attempts. Coach uh, Schultz mentioned in the paper about how Reuter adds a lot of energy to his ball club when he's on the floor. He certainly does that. In the Wolf. land of the Giants. Yeah, really, that was kind of a forced shot, even though he almost got it in. Just his first shot attempt. And he pulls on the miss. <laughs> 320 remaining until halftime. That's a better pass. Quick release, but uh, didn't have his feet set real well. Dizeng and Cole's at it, and they're going to call him for traveling. Duquette swung that pass to Beaterwolf much quicker, and so got a chance for an open shot. What a difference it makes as opposed to when you have a little air under the ball or lobbing it in there. Beaterwolf. Ooh, I thought that was on. A good pass from uh, Duquette. Schwer through the lane, got it in. Tim Schwer's first basket. Peter Wolf kick out. Shot is off. Kyle Rommel had the nice look but couldn't get it down. Schwer. And he gets called for a travel. What started the turnover was the bad pass by Coles. I don't think it was very accurate. And I thought he may have stepped on a south player's foot too. Twenty-nine, twenty-six, South on top. South has been on top and most of the turnover. ball game, but another bad turnover, not even close. Deezing was open over on the side, but they didn't see him. North trying to get something set up. They look a little disorganized at this point. Now the pick and roll. There he is. Eirik from about 16. No good, but Duquette got the rebound for South. And a timeout by South. Full timeout with 2.01 remaining until halftime. It's 29 26, Sheboygan South.
There we go. Pete Fullerton's brother, that is, officiating. Hey, Brian. What a difference from the first quarter, 25-20, now just 29-26. Four points for uh, South and six for uh, North. All that exciting uh, action yeah. that fans and everybody likes has come down to now a grind it out type of a game. 1-3-1 one, one did it too. Yeah. Darn. Our crew tonight is uh, Brian Andrews and Drew Kramer down on the bottom. Steve Reiner up on top. Drew Kramer up on top now. He's kind of shifting around. Kerry Kultzer and uh, Scott Miloff spinning the dials in the truck. Right now it's Scott. Kerry's uh, Tim Eirich. Yeah, Kerry's down on the floor watching the game. Peter Wolf. They have gotten cold. Well, I told you they wouldn't keep that kind of shooting up. Taking it hard to the hoop, but overlaying to Steve Lacey. Rommel cut off. Oh, Duquette's open. Reuters open, got to hit it. Good Reuter idea. Hard to the lane. Down the lane, he draws the foul. That was a great move, Chris. Drew the foul, that's two on uh, Tom Eirich. I agree with you there. That was a good move. The only saving grace for North, you know, with him committing the foul, is there is only a minute 28 remaining until halftime, and uh, there is a sub at the bench for him. Dodge comes in. I don't think we'll see Eric anymore this half. No. And yeah, that. You know, I will write it down right here. No. And I think uh, Reuter, you know, really made a smart move on that. I don't yep. think he's a real good three-point shooter, so he did what he does best. Play hard, take it to the hole, to the hoop. Schwer had it blocked by Lancer. Rebound shot is no good by Lacey, but he got fouled by Andy Lancer. Well, Lancer did his job, but uh, somebody's got to box out Lacey there. Good offensive board for him. Steve's dad, Gary, was a good athlete here at North High back in his day. Yeah, he's a holy family here. No, he's a holy neighbor. Okay. Unless you're talking Steve. <laughs> Steve. Okay, he might have been a holy family. Steve Lacey got the second one in. Duquette. And now Beaterwolf. And we're down to one minute left until halftime. It's 31-27. North back into a man-to-man -man defense. Lancer Travel. traveled. Well, they're going to call a foul first. That's one area where I, I don't think Andy has developed much you know, over his last two years. I thought the moves that he had as a sophomore, you know, he really hasn't uh, gotten them better than they were at that point. I mean, he's still a force inside, and he's a strong guy, and he can rebound, but, you know, some of the footwork kinds of things just haven't developed. That's a third foul on Dodge there. Yeah. So they're going to come in with Matt Clark, 6'5", junior. Dan Stockdale, they have a... Yeah, he's out with for the season. Yeah, 6'8", young man, and uh, he'll be uh, helping the post there, but uh, unfortunately he's out. Nice Reuter rebound. over the back and got it. Peterwolf's shot is no good. And Schwerer with the strong rebound. There's that strength by Andy Lancer. Took the ball right away from Tim Schwerer. Possession arrow points north's way, so they'll keep it. Lancer a force on that football field for the last two years. Liked when he was open in that tight end spot. Oh yeah, he's a he was a nice target. Good defense by Beaterwolf to tip it away, and then he comes away with the throwback it's by Mer Matt Mertz. Yeah, Mertz hustling in there. Another football player. Down to 13 seconds. 
South up by four. Tipped away by Lacey. Oh, he's listening to the crowd. Shot is no good. Good hustle by Steve Lacey. And Duquette's shot at the horn is no good. We're at halftime here at North High Security Fieldhouse. With the score, South 31, North 27. Congratulations on the promotion. I hope you're saving the extra money. You gotta put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead. No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Get it balanced. You get it Stick it under the mattress. <laughs> you want getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs are making it happen. 
Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding La around the world. Rotary. Humanity in motion.
triglycerides or trigs have to do to get noticed? Normal triglycerides are below 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts. This is a banana. This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. The most dangerous thing our kids have to deal with today isn't violence. It isn't drugs. It's unhealthy food. Too many of our kids are overweight. They're headed for diabetes, heart problems, or worse. They need to eat healthy things like vegetables, fruits, high-fiber vegetarian foods. As our kids grow, the right foods can help protect them from obesity, heart problems, diabetes, and even cancer. To find out more, call for a free booklet or visit our website, kidsgethealthy.org. One day, you were simply struggling to be a dad. The next, you're coping with a diagnosis of childhood cancer. CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. In boys action earlier today in North and South split the uh, freshman games and in JV action this afternoon uh, the boys for South won 58 to 52 and uh, what was really a quite entertaining game Chris I don't know if you had a chance to watch that at all this afternoon watched a little bit of it uh, actually on the on the TV a little bit but uh I was watching my alma mater, UW-Whitewater, playing in that championship yeah, game. I That's turned it on for just a minute before I left. They were down 14-3. It didn't look good. But, it was 14-13 uh, at half, so then I had to come over here and enjoying a good night of basketball. Strange uh, tale of two quarters. Quick first quarter, up and down the floor, and then that 1-3-1 definitely changed the, the whole swing of the game. South had 25 points in the first quarter, had 6 in the second. North had 20 points in the first quarter, but only 7. But they did close the gap from 5 down to 4. Yeah, I was just waving at Casey Sikowski, coach of Notre Dame. Yeah, 7 for 12, shooting for threes for Sheboygan South. Uh, I had uh, just 3 for 7 from three-point line for uh, North, not typical for that. Uh, just 33% from the floor, 7 for 21 shooting for Sheboygan North. 50% uh, shooting for South, uh, 11 for 22, but uh, just 1 for 9 in that quarter. Scoring in the first half, Kyle Reuter and Tyson Pitch had 9 points each. Chipping in with seven was Jake Biederwolf, and then Jake Schwarz and Andy Lancer each had two. For North, they were led by Nolan Free, who had eight points all in the first quarter, Chris. And then uh, TJ Kellner had seven, Tom Eirich had five, uh, Andy Poles, Derek Diesing, and uh, Tim Schwer each had two, and uh, Steve Lacey got a free throw in that second quarter. If I'm Coach Schultz, I'm pretty happy. I'm up by four. Tyson pitched and played the whole second quarter, leading scorer in the first quarter. All that excitement, things quick, picked up two quick fouls. You have the lead and uh, pitch coming back in the second half with that. If I was Sheboyga North, I got to get a little bit on track. Shoot, not shooting very well, that's for sure. They were just two for nine in the quarter. Uh, nine turnovers each team. Corey Dodge, the only player with three falls. For uh, South, Hemsing, Wilson, and Pitch each had two falls. For North, uh, Alex Jordan and Tom Eirich each have two. The big guy is Eirich. you got to keep him out of foul trouble. North comes in and out with a man-to-man -man here. Reuter starting the second half for South. And you know Coach Schultz talked about that 1-3 the whole second you know, halftime break. And then they come out to man-to-man. -man. Well, Wilson uh, taking it hard to the basket on Eirich trying to draw the foul. He didn't, but he did get the basket. Yeah, he's 2-for-2 two two from the floor. 33-27. 
Eirich lean in, knocked over Wilson, no call, and he missed a shot. South has the ball again with a six-point lead. A lot of contact in that play there. Three-point basket is up and good by Chris Hemsing. 36-27. Irick was open, but Deasing didn't give him the ball. Nine-point lead for South. Pulls open, rolls off. Ball is tipped away by Schwer. It goes off a South player's leg, and North will keep it. I liked what Andy did there. He went off the screen of Irick, and most of the time they roll right to the basket. He popped right out to the three-point line, didn't make the shot, but uh, got a wide open look. Uh, used his big butt as a screen to try and get pulls open. And uh, Andy, an unfortunate break there, slipped on, uh, I think he actually slipped on Beterwolf and uh, fell down, got called for the travel. Well, first he knocked Beterwolf down, then fell. <laughs> <laughs> then he called for the uh, foul, but did get called for the turnover. And now he finds himself on the bench and Jordan back in the game. Look at this, press and then straight right back. So uh, going into a half court trap here. Another new look. Into Wilson, leaping leaner is no good. Kellner with the board. Oh, Derek Deasing was wide open in his spot over here. He's been open a couple times tonight and they haven't gotten him the ball. That's his job, shooting threes. Yeah, you gotta give him the ball when he's open. Right there. Quick release is no good. Beterwolf on a quick pass down the court to Hemsing. His shot in the lane is no good. Who else? Reuter. Ugh. Got it. 11 points for Kyle Reuter. He's been a force. South up 11, 38-27. Pop back jumper by Kellner is no good. He's been quiet tonight. Just two for five from the floor. Pitch, they backed off of him. Open from the three-point line, but he couldn't get it in. Oh, that's not good defense. Timeout north. 30-second timeout with uh, 5.48 remaining in the third quarter. South has opened up an 11-point lead, Chris. Quiet 11-point lead, too. They came out making their baskets and getting down the floor. North just cold shooting here to start the second half. Pretty much the whole ball game, just not shooting very well. The one thing about playing a zone, you know, you can do that when you're down by not too much, but you get down double figures, it's pretty hard to sit back in a zone and, you know, try to whittle away at the lead. Yeah, they're just 7 for 25 from the floor right now. Speaking about a big win this afternoon, or this morning, uh, Wisconsin. Yep. Burying Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh. Up by, by double uh, figures in the first half and yeah, never let them in. Ended, ended up 89-74. Butch and Tucker just having a... Yeah, Butch had a good game. Eirich. Bad well, pass. Well, Kellner looked like he was going to cut through, and then he stopped. If he continues through, he's going to get that pass. North scrambling, but uh, South handling the pressure. Well, a good reversal of the ball, and Peter Wolf nails it. Well, he had missed his last four. Six three-point baskets for South. But like any good shooter, you hit your next one. He's now three for nine from three-point range. And they're making them, and uh, North's not making them. And a bad pass, but well, not too smart by Nick Wilson there. Yeah, and he's got three. A couple of his fouls have just, you know, probably not good fouls because he's kind of reaching or bodying it a little bit. To a little better position, Nick, and you'll get the job done. Andy Lancer in the ball game for uh, Nick Wilson. Yeah, they're going the double team, double screen rather for Kellner, but uh, South covering it up very well. Good job by Pitch to stay down, but Deezing. Derek Deezing with a three point basket. He has five points on the night. 41 30, South on top. Back into their trap. Good job by Beterwolf. Missed pitch underneath, but good job there by Hempsing, but he missed no it. Good. Reuter with a strong rebound. 
He's a fiery kind of player. We're gonna get a jump ball situation, Chris. North taking it out of bounds. They didn't come over to the bench and signal any fouls. That's why uh, Reuter was uh, upset. He thought he got fouled. Boy, pitch was wide open under the basket down there and uh, South just didn't see him. Here's Nolan Free, he's been quiet tonight too. Kellner, jumper. Oh, we got called for the travel on the turnaround. Kyle Reuter coming out, probably a good uh, substitution there, Chris, giving Kyle a chance to uh, cool down a little bit. He's having a heck of a ball game. Four for four from the floor. Four rebounds. Four's all around. Peter Wolf open. Tap up by pitch is no good, and then we're going to get an over the bat fall on Andy Lancer. For Andy, that's his second. Well, Peter Wolf's keeping up my average for me. He's got <laughs> 10 three attempts. Well, we were down on that south end <laughs> prior to the game. That's where they were warming up. Alex Jordan, little stutter step drive, taking it right to the hoop. For Alex, that's his first bucket of the night. Under double figures now. Pitch. Got it. How about that? I'll tell you, you got to cover these guys up. You extend the defense, they find the open man. Yep. Jordan had it tipped away. Duquette has it. Bounce past the pitch. Followed by Kellner, he'll have two. South, dominating play. Yep. Athletes. Their athletes are doing the job. As I said, multi-sport athletes. These guys play football and soccer and baseball. A lot of sports these kids play, and uh, their athleticism is really showing right now. We get a timeout by Sheboygan North. It's a full timeout. So with 3.32 remaining in the third quarter, South on top by 12. We'll be right back. Talk about a good start to the second half. 13 points for South, only five for North. And uh, they're just cold shooting continues. Yeah, they've had some nice looks, Chris. You're right. They just had, North just hasn't been able to knock anything down. Just two for nine again, which means they're four to the last 18, Marty. It's not going to get it done thing with a double digit lead and at least in my estimation you know I might be wrong on this is I think it takes some of the strategy away from north you know it's like I said you can't drop back into that uh, zone defense. South's kind of done a much better job breaking that too and uh, looking in the opening I really like when they feed to the middle there and then you kind of pivot and hit the wing guys and uh, Lancer and Wilson have done a nice job of that. How about Pitch and Reuter? Pitch now with 13 points. Make it 14. Andy Pulls has it being guarded by uh, Beaterwolf. Fourteen point lead for South under just about three minutes. Wide open. A good drive and then a kick out by uh, Nolan Free, but uh, Andy Pohl's not able to make the basket. Peter Wolf had his shot blocked, but he able to, was able to keep control and get it up to the rim. Schwer with the rebound for North. It's forty-six to thirty-two. Irick got it down and he's fouled chance for a three-point play. He's got to get more looks. He, that was his first basket of the quarter. He has seven in the game. 
he, uh, just six shot attempts for uh, Tom. Tom gets a lot of business down there, too. He get, draws a lot of attention. Been drawing some fouls, too. He'll get some of the horses for south in foul trouble. Well, you know what else? You, know, you get him the ball, he not only can go to the hoop, but all of a sudden they start to collapse, and you can kick it out. Hopefully you can get some open shots from out there. Good point. But none of that happens if you don't get it inside. Kind of the same thing happened with the girls' game. You know, they, you know, finally the North offense spread out a little bit and you know, made things a lot easier. Kellner with a rebound, going hard to the basket, had his shot blocked. Eirich, fake, fake, shot is good, and he's fouled again. There you go. That was Kellner's fifth rebound of the ball game, and there's Eirich making hay underneath. Gonna see if he can make a free throw. The foul goes on pitch, that's his third. Here they come. Oh, that's a bad buzzer. Get it sooner. Pitches out with his three falls. Coming back in is uh, Kyle Reuter. It's 46-37 uh, North, able to cut that 12-point uh, deficit. Actually, it was up to 14 there for a while. Down to nine. The bench did a nice job with Tyson on the bench in that second quarter. Let's see if the, the South Red Wings can hold on to their lead here in the last three minutes. Maybe keep Tyson on the bench to the fourth. This is interesting. No beater wolf or pitch out on the floor. Doesn't see how long until Jake gets back in the game. Shot by Hempsing is no good. Rebound basket is up and good by Schwartz. He's got five rebounds. His first basket of the game, but he does have four points. Nolan free from outside. The line nails it. He was running back down the floor. He knew he hit that one. And there's a bad foul. Free is going to get called. For the foul, that's his first. Only the second team foul by North. They trail 48 to 40. Seems like there was a lot of fouls in the first half and letting them play a little bit more here in the third quarter, which I like. Hempsing leaning in. No Wilson, no pitch, no Beater Wolf. Where those bench players got to step up for no, South. No Lancer either on the inside. No, jeez. But Kyle Reuter has been a solid force today. He's out there. That's an Jake overplay. Schwartz with the good, the good seal off to get the pass, and then he uh, on the overplay was able to get the lay-in. Holtz got it, and he's fouled. Nice penetration and shot by Andy Poles. He has four points in the ball game. His first basket. Got a couple of free throws way back in the first quarter. That for uh, Hempsing is his third foul, Coach. All of a sudden, it's an eight-point game. A lot of three-point attempts getting to the basket for uh, North. Irick with just two now. Pulls with another one here. Creeping, creeping, creeping back in. You know, I was, I was going to mention this earlier in the third quarter, but uh, this place is really pretty full. Yeah. The north side is almost totally full, and the south side the same way. And we do have people standing on the edges and uh, sitting on the in the underneath the baskets on those bleachers. Stolen away by North. Free lost it. Schwartz spin move, and then we get a foul on Tim Schwer. Tough break if you're a north sider because Free had the open lane, but he dribbled it off of a salt eye player. And I saw North players ahead of the of the play as well. Could have been an easy layup. But if uh, South needed an opportunity to get some free points, it's right here. North closed to within seven. Jake Schwarz. For him now was point number seven. He has eight, that makes it 52-43. South hanging on to that lead. They'd love to get to the fourth quarter about a seven, eight point lead. And again, South late to defend. Rommel, well, I'll tell you, Schwer just uh, took Rommel on the dribble and beat him down the court. And uh, Reuter had to come over to help and he committed the foul. 
Don't do your job on the other end. And one of your uh, better players have got to step up and a uh, couple more easy opportunities. North getting right back in and at the free throw line. Definitely a big disparity with free throws. And North's drawing these fouls. I mean, it's not like, you know, it's the officials are favoring North or anything. They're just getting to the basket a lot more than South, who's relying more on their outside game. Nice shooting by uh, Tim Schwer to get those two free throws in. 52-45. Peter Wolf trying to get out of the double team does, but then he throws it away. This could be big. Kellner, oh, couldn't get it down. Schwarz with the strong rebound. Place would have gone nuts if he would have hit that three. Put it down to a four point deficit. There's like 12 points and 11. A lot of little free throws doing the job. One dribble and stop. Now what you want to do, and then you got to yeah. call timeout. North applying heavy pressure. They're extending the pressure way out. And uh, when you got Peter Wolf and uh, Tyson Pitch in there, they seem to handle the pressure a little better. Uh, when you don't have those guys out on the floor, it makes a difference. Dribble with a purpose. One dribble and pick it up is not going to get it done. We mentioned that Casey Zakowski was at the game from uh, Green Bay Notre Dame. They're scouting. Coach Christensen's under the, uh, I don't know which way direction that would be. Now, East Basket over there. He's under there for uh, Manitowoc. 28.2 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Saw North, Coach. North trying to whittle away at the lead. It's 52-45. Uh, to 45. North, had, or pardon me, South had it up to 14 points at one juncture. This is our Hoffensburgers here, the uh, former principal. principal here, and I saw Coach Schumann here from. Yeah, I talked to John before the game. South. Very important that South gets away with a one shot attempt here and get out with a seven point lead. 15 seconds. Or more. Oh, Another they point. had Schwarz open, but uh, good cover up defense by the Raiders. And a double dribble by Diesing. You know, he held on to the ball so long, I kind of forgot that he had, you know, bounced it. 8.2 seconds remaining. South with an opportunity to knock it up to uh, 9, maybe even 10. Oh. Shot at the buzzer, no good. At the end of three quarters of play, South on top, 52-45. Um, Jimmy's sick again. Mm, you were always sick, too. Not like him. You don't remember. He keeps getting infections. He takes after you. If your child is repeatedly sick, it may be PI, primary immunodeficiency disease, a defect of the immune system. The only way to know is by testing. Mom, this isn't normal. It's normal. It's not normal. Talk to us about PI. We've all solved problems in creative ways. But the quick fix isn't always the best, especially when it comes to your health. Crooked teeth or misaligned jaws could be signs of orthodontic trouble. Quick cosmetic fixes rather than orthodontic treatment may not be the best solution. Teeth that work better, look better. And orthodontists improve the look of the mouth by improving tooth alignment and function. Appearance is important, but it's not everything. For a healthy smile, visit an orthodontist. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to start fourth quarter action. Great balance scoring by South, Chris. They have Pitch with 14, Reuter with 11, Peterwolf with 10. And Jake Schwartz with eight. And two of those players came off the bench. Schwartz and uh, Reuter. Seven for 16 shooting for South in the quarter. Six for 15 for North. Two for six from three point line for uh, almost a turnover. South keeps it. For South that is pitch back in the game. They need him. That's a good trap. Real good trap. 
Another good trap. South's got to get out of there. Pitch, good elevation on the jump shot, but couldn't get it in. He was kind of forced that. Easing wide open. They got him the ball that time, and he nailed it. He has eight points. Through three quarters, North was led by Nolan Free with 11, and Tom Eirich had 10. Peter Wolf was on the line, but his shot is no good. Reuter again. Yeah, he came, he got the rebound, he came down, fell down, and uh, it's called for traveling. 52-48, North down by four. North now six for 15 from the three-point line. With that three-pointer, Deasing has eight points. And just four points behind, and another reach over uh, foul by Wilson. Nick Wilson has four fouls, Chris. And uh, North will now be going to the line the rest of the ball game on any common foul. And that's where they've done a lot of their damage. Just 13 for 30, excuse me, 14 for 39 from the floor, but a lot more free throw attempts for North and South. And, you know, that's what we were talking about back in the third quarter. A lot of things happen when you can get the ball inside. Eric with a pair gives him 12 points and the South only up two. Good defense by Kellner. Biederwolf on a nice pass to pitch for a lead. Finally saw the open guy. Well, Kellner was wide open, but uh, Jordan missed him. Kellner would have had a layup. He fires a quick three and got it. What a quick release by that young man. 54-53, South by one. Looks like North is in that 1-3-1 defense. Pitch has got to get out of that corner. Reuter, no good. I don't think you want to have him shooting the three. Hemsing, dashed down into Wilson for two. Sweet pass. Chris Hemsing and South throw it away. Hemsing, wow. lay down the lane, holy cow. Quick four points for South, they're up 58. 53. Went from a one point lead up to five. Exciting. Good pump fake by Tim Schwer, but he couldn't get the jump shot. Now we get a whistle and it's gonna go on Tom Eirik. Eirik with three fouls. He's done a good job tonight, Chris, of uh, staying out of foul trouble. Now you don't want to foul 80 feet from the basket. No, you're well, you're, you're foot, right. You're right. Foot, uh, four, but that's he could right. have had He's a couple more of those if he wanted, but he didn't. But uh, you're right. That's, that was not a good foul. Dodge in the ball game, along with uh, pulls. North looking at a 1-3-1. Thought that was a dangerous pass. Yeah, Hemsing had a good shot but couldn't get it in. Reuter got his paw on there. Yeah, and Schwartz came away with the ball. Oh, pitch got way up above the crowd for the jump shot but couldn't get it in. Man, as he get up there. Pulls on a kick out to Deezing. Bango! Derek Deezing. He's hit his last three threes. He has three three pointers in the ball game. Good ball movement, pitch open again. Bango! Nice and pitch. Back and Action. forth. Yeah. yeah, really speed it up from that second quarter. Bad foul. Ooh, they got a jump. There's a break for South. Could have been bonus three throws for North, but instead, it's just a side out of bounds. Jordan and Free in. <laughs> now, why would you take Derek Deasing out of the ball game? The guy's canning your threes, and <laughs> now you set him down. How many times haven't we seen that over the years? <laughs> Make a three, sit down. Well, he's hit two in a row. <laughs> 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 
Jordan with a 10-footer. Off no good. Schwarz with the rebound. And Biederwolf doing the smart thing, slowing yep. it up. Get the offense set. Emstein's got to slow down a little bit. Oh, nice a pass, though. Nice pass inside the Schwarz for an easy two. Whew. Thought he was going to lose it there, but uh, got the pass there. That was sweet. He's made some nice passes here in the fourth quarter. Give him a seven-point lead. Four players for South and double figures. That was uh, nine and ten for Schwartz. Nolan free. Down the lane. Got it. The other sophomore counters. The North sophomore. 13 points for Nolan. North down five. Rolling down to 335 remaining in the ball game. I think this one will go down to the buzzer. Whoa. Up on the tippy toes and got himself off the floor was Jake Schwarz and he turns it over. Had the right idea. Face the basket, but. Eirik back in the ball game. 3.30 left, plenty of time. Three fouls is not that bad. You want your crunch players in now. There's one. Keller, quick release. Reuter. Who else? Wow. With the rebound. Peterwolf bringing it up under control. Six rebounds for Reuter. I think what they have on that call, Chris, is uh, Alex Jordan tipping the ball on the line prior to South catching it, so South will get it out of bounds. 63-58, three minutes in the ball game. That's not a good place to be. We got Reuter on top, Jake. Nick Wilson back in the ball game. It's over and back. Told you. Yeah, once you get caught in the corner, you gotta get out of there. Stay in the middle of the floor. Exactly what you want the trap to do is to get you there and yeah. you're going there. They want you on the side, you want the middle. Ira calling for the ball, but they didn't get it to him. Well, Wilson's got four, right? You gotta feed it to him. Oh. Jordan wanted to get it inside, but uh, threw the ball away. A game within a game when you're getting that post play. Look, we're uh, get to the middle. Pitch on a driving shot. I didn't know I was going to get in that little hole there, but uh, nice elevation by pitch. 21 points. Kellner. Two minutes, two minutes in the ball game. Good move. Eirik. 14 he, points for him. He's hit his last three in a row. 65-60 south on top. Minute 45 remaining. Kellner tipped it away, but uh, Jake Peterwolf got it back. Good timeout right here. Yep. Good idea. Timeout south. A full timeout. With 135 left, South is up by five. We'll be right back. Low fat cheese sandwiches on whole wheat bread. Chewy and good for you. Snacks high in calcium help build strong bones. And foods rich in fiber are good for your heart. So you have the power to dominate. <laughs> Can your food do that? Run, throw, think, eat better. Find out more at smallstep.gov. There is Jimmy. Mr. Kellner right Kellner there. On the left. And uh, it's Dave Tetzloff's brother. Yep, Dave Tetzloff's brother. Should know his first name. My, my wheels are spinning, I know, but I can't remember. He's a good basketball player at Salt, too. All those Tetzlogs were. I wonder if his brother ever gives him any heat for sending it, for Dave sending his kids to North when they both played at South. Tell you what, Dave can still play. No kidding. I was telling our kids over at Jefferson, I said, you know the guys that are the most fun to play with are the guys that pass the ball. 
And they get out there and dribble, 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 dribble. Hemsing had it out the pitch. See if they want to run some clock here. North in a man-to-man -man defense now. Problem for South North is they still have three fouls to give. So you better, good foul, Nolan, because you have four fouls. You got to get that closer to seven. You know, you can still get, to the line. Yeah, to get closer to that situation. You don't want the clock to run down and you got to foul later. So go for steals and, uh, you know, if you foul, it's not that big of a deal. But you got to get it closer where you're going to want, might have to, to uh, foul to get closer to the bonus. Nolan's on a mission. That's fall number, team fall number six on North. Nolan Free now has three falls. That's where all that scouting goes in. Who are your poor free throw shooters for South? That's who you want to foul uh, since there's a long time left. Um, South only has seven team falls too. Good, good screen by Nick Wilson. Jordan lays it up and in. Well, they tried to take time off the clock, and while they're doing that, they turned it over. 65-62. Ooh. Jordan couldn't keep his balance and fell over Beaterwolf. That is foul number seven. Jake will be going to the line. Andy Pulls coming in. Three-point shooter. And can drive, penetrate. Good hustle there by... Jordan got those two points to move within three. Trying to get this to a two possession ball game here. Jake shot is no good. And we get two over the backs. Wilson was over the back and Reuter was over the back and tipped it out of bounds. No foul call. North will keep it or get it. Coach does tell what's a timeout and he gets it. We're under a minute, 57.1 seconds. It's a 30 second timeout. Interesting set of circumstances. You don't have to go for the three, that's for sure. Long time. A minute is forever. Just forever. What you need to do is just get a good shot, three or a two, and uh, play good defense. Know the situation on both ends. Both teams need to know that. Know the score, know the situation, and obviously know where their players are. If you're north, you want to know who to follow. If you're south, you want to know where the three-point shooters are. Because uh, you'd rather give up the two than the three. You know, you know who I'd like to see in the ball game though is Derek Deasing. Yeah. Get him somewhere, you know, drive, penetrate, and kick it out. He's uh, three for four in, in threes in the ball game and hit his last three, including those two. I think crucial his dad would like before. to see him in too. <laughs> <laughs> well, just. Uh, I didn't mean that like I'm partial to North. I'm right. just saying, you know, as a fan, you know, for North, you know, geez, you know, you'd like to get those guys in there. Here we go. Pulls. Being guarded by Beaterwolf. Ooh, Tim almost was in there. Getting it to Kellner, pulls is open. You don't need a three. Three would tie, but get your best shot available. I'd go into Tom Eirich here. Maybe he'll get a seconds. foul. He's gotten them all night. He's been drawing fouls all night. Well, the South defenders are all taller than the uh, North shooters. They're taking a lot of time here. That's what I don't like because if you can't get, see now they look like they're going for three and that's what they get. Oh, Kellner from way outside the line, nailed it. 65 all, 20 seconds remaining, and Kellner with a steal. They got a two on one. Tyson takes no. it right back, and we got a whistle. Coach Testel's going to get a timeout. Before the steal. You know what was bad there, Marty? I think they kicked the ball. North did? I didn't, I couldn't tell. When they passed the ball, it was a kick ball, and uh, I wish I had replay to see it. But uh, it looked like North TJ kicked the ball and then they got the steal. Well, you were right when uh, on that possession before this one coming up, North just seemed out of sync and uh, Kellner just got, I mean, he, he was still in the gym, <laughs> but he was out there. I was gonna say an NBA three for TJ Kellner. I wish I could see that pass again over here. I wonder if he was deflected or a kick because uh, sure looked a little strange. I might be wrong. I've been wrong probably 100 times tonight. This game will not be rebroadcast later tonight. Uh, it will be, I don't think it'll be on tomorrow either. Tuesday at 7 o'clock probably. Boy, oh boy. Just when they look down and out, uh, South Battle, or pardon me, North Battles back to tie. And now they have the ball with 16.5 seconds remaining. And uh, there's very few people sitting in the gym. 
Uh, I will say this, you know, you said there probably was a kick or you thought there was. I think the two officials have done a great job tonight oh. calling the ball game. You know, you get into a situation like this, uh, these are hard games to officiate. Yep. And I think they enjoy this environment a little bit better than the armory <laughs> where you're constantly bumping into the stage or into the wall or the worrying line. about the red line on the side versus the black line. Pulls will do the triggering here on the inbounds. 14 seconds. Pulls. Can't get it. Wilson with the rebound and a foul. No, oh. oh, a travel call. Oh, my. That's all I'll say. A lot of arms. Luke Wilson. Uh, wow. Me, Nick Wilson. Wow. Really upset. Looked like a lot of arms in there, and they all looked like they had white jerseys when he went down. Wow. What a travel call. Wow. Full timeout. Coach Schultz saying, why isn't that a timeout or a jump ball situation? And uh, Wow. That is a tough break. That's uh, two tough calls in a row. There'd be two situations, you know, if we had replay. See if it was a kick and... Uh, well, either way, I thought it was a foul or oh, a oh, jump, thought, sure. something, and then they call the travel, and uh, wow, that's a tough, tough break for Nick Wilson, and you know what, I hope, <laughs> you don't know, but I'm just going to say, I hope it doesn't get settled, because you know what, everybody's going to talk about tomorrow, and All right. tonight at 10.30 is... If it goes into overtime, you forget about it. Right, yeah. but if North scores here, it's going to be, all oh, that they didn't make that call, or that's too bad. It won't be the fact that one team won this way or that way. It'll be because the official didn't make the right call. TJ Kellner is going to toss it in for uh, the Raiders. Five seconds. Pitch at the buzzer. No good. We're going into overtime. I'll tell you what, Marty. They weren't going to get a foul call. <laughs> Well, Poles got hammered, no call, so turnabout fair play. Yep. At the end of four quarters of play, it's all tied up at 65. Our story begins with a journey for an hour. For research indicates that when a parent takes a more active role in their child's quest for education, that child will be bestowed with higher grades and higher sense of being. Just a wee bit of time out of your meeting schedule is all it takes to show your allegiance. Hear what your kids are saying. Get more involved. Join your local PTA. Tick, 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 tick. Massive heat waves. Heat waves. Tick. Severe droughts. Tick. 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 Overtime or the new uh, era begins. Now they did play in postseason. It didn't end up. North did sweep all three games last year, but the rest, last game of the Armory was overtime as well, and North came away with a six-point victory, I believe. When you talk about foul trouble, now is when that four-foul situation does come into play with uh, Wilson. Yep. He controls. Reuter has it. Four-minute overtime. Kellner was wide open on that shot by Pulls, too. I was surprised they didn't go to him, but... Uh, yeah, you know what? When he did the penetration, I was looking for the pitch out. North in a trapping defense. They look big out there and wide. That's what you want to do. Peter Wolf Didn't have his feet set. Yeah, ball hit off the bracket. You know, he looked a little tired there, Marty. You know, wanted to shoot it, but you know, not with that confidence when he steps up and hits. But you know the defense wasn't good because he did a ball fake, you know, and, and the defense stepped back, you know, instead of stepping out on him. Nolan Free with a quick release, and he nails a three. He has 16 points.
Hempsing on a nice pass to Wilson on a cut down the lane for an easy two. 68-66 North. Kellner tried to sneak it through, but he couldn't get it past the two South defenders. I thought he was going to get that too. That would have been pretty. Well, he knew what he wanted to do. He just wasn't counting on that second guy being in the way. Kick. <laughs> That's the kick you <laughs> thought may have happened earlier in the fourth quarter. North by one. 68-67, 2.43 remaining. Good ball fake by Jake. That time the defense stayed out on him. He's caught in the corner. Good recovery by Reuter. His jump shot from 15 is good. And somebody's hurt on the floor. It could be TJ Kellner. Uh, I think he turned his ankle. No, I think it was his wrist. Or elbow or, sh oh, a shoulder. Chris Lenz out. He uh, popped out his shoulder playing in uh, AAU ball, I believe in Indiana. And I believe this is, this is a different one though because I think that was his left one before. This could be his right one. Yeah, it looks, well, they're working on the right arm, right shoulder. Who got that basket? Kyle Reuter. Well, 15 feet out. Did it's, I say uh, he's been playing well? 69-68, south on top. There you see uh, Coach Tom Desatel. That's our pitching arm, too. In my oh, really? Infield arm. Hopefully he's all right. Get a little water. Rub a little dirt on it, TJ. <laughs> there you go. Get some water. Get some water. Well, that's, uh, I don't know can't see that on our on your monitor but Stockdale is the big guy that hurt his knee it is out this year that would have been another inside player for North had he not gotten hurt but uh, Kellner looks uh, like he might be able to come back in the ball game Chris of course he'll have to sit out for a little while uh, no timeout charge to either team North will have it but South has the lead well, now they're putting them in back here, but they can't bring them in until... Uh, the time four. runs off. Yeah. 218 remaining in overtime. There you get a good shot at Tyson Pitch. He's had a nice game tonight. Tyson with 21. Reuter has 13. Myrick posting inside, wanted the ball. He didn't give it to him. Good save by Free. Two minutes. And the ball is knocked away from Schwer, and South comes away with it. Peter Wolf. Yeah, tap from behind. Well, you got nobody on your ends again here. Or, I mean, in the backcourt. That's not the corner you want to be in. A lot of hands. Yep. I like how North just makes themselves real big and active, and it's very difficult to get those passes there. And it's a good thing that TJ Kellner's back in there. and He hit the big three to tie it. What's been a very entertaining basketball game and fun night of basketball. Really? South. Uh, a I great venue to have an event like this, too. Just outstanding. 130. Well, here they're trying to run they're a little clock again. Now. Irick's going to get called for a foul. Wow. Well, now for him, that's his fourth. Uh, I'm not sure Nick Wilson is a real good free throw shooter. He hasn't been to the line tonight yet. There's uh, five. Uh, they had a five-point lead when, when the end of regulation with this situation, and you know what happened there. So, you know, you got to be careful with the basketball, take care of it, but uh, don't want to run too much, uh, you know, just stalling without uh, getting a good shot attempt, I guess what I'm saying. It's a little early. You get into a funk doing that. Yep. See if you can bang one home. Nope. Alex Jordan with the rebound of the missed free throw. North down by one. South playing excellent basketball tonight. Eirich. Wow. Tom Eirich with a quick move. He's got 16 points. Almost caught us north a little slow back. Hempstein was available, but uh, 
Good recovery, and there's a big turnover. Kellner, Kellner, Kellner! Travel. No. He gets called for the travel. Good call, Chris. You know, I thought what he should have done was taken it to the right, split the defense, and he got a two-on-one the way he was. It's hard to run a fast break. We're under a minute. North up 70 to 69. South has it. We're at the 52nd mark of overtime. Hempsing. Quick release and he nailed it. Wow. Chris Hempsing. He has eight. I was just thinking, we gotta get pitch, pitch, pitch. They go to the other side, the opposite wing, and it gives themselves a two-point lead. He's in deep. Kellner shot is no good. Eirich with the rebound, fake. Shot, no good. And a whistle and a foul. I think it was Alex Jordan with the strong rebound in the lane, Chris. And he's gonna go to the line to shoot two. Well, they let a lot of contact go. And then finally they had to call something. I thought the first foul was on Kellner. Driving to the oh, basket. Oh, yeah, then they let, and everybody stopped too because they thought there was gonna be something. And that's five fouls on Nick Wilson. Yep. Well, you got Lancer, and you got, you know who else played well? Uh, Schwartz, has Schwartz played very, very well. He has 10 points in the ball game. He might not. He's pretty quick, too. I got him for eight rebounds, too. I mean, he's been all over the place. That's who they're coming in with here. Well, you talk about athletes, you know, Schwartz and Reuter and Pitch. And, you know, those guys, uh, they leap and they, they're quick on their feet. South on top, 72 to 70. There's 22.2 seconds remaining. Alex Jordan will go to the line to shoot two. He has four points in the ball game. Can you hear the cheers coming from the north side <laughs> on your TV? This one to tie it up. Money in the bank. 20 seconds, Peter Wolf has it. Now oh, they call Ooh. a timeout. I'll let that pickle run a little bit. Always bad things about situation when you, oh, are you well, gonna call let time? Ask, let me ask you this, Chris. If you're gonna take it out of bounds, would you rather have it at half court or down about midway you know, like free throw line extended, let's say. Or doesn't it matter to you? Well, I just don't, I, w I don't like the fact you might have to inbound the ball here. You know, if they're gonna sit in their one three one, then it's not such a difficult thing. But all of a sudden, oh, we set up a play and now we can't get it in and you have a turnover and, you know, you got the ball, they're sitting back now. North can sit back on their, uh, uh, set up their defense as well. But, uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of different things you can do. I just don't like maybe having to inbound again. You're tied. Worst case scenario, you got the ball. If you get in trouble, you can call timeout. Some coaches feel that it's better just let them come down and play basketball. Because now, you, like you say, you got to worry about getting the ball in. Yeah. Just play through. See if they sit in their 1-3-1, one, one, then it won't be that big of a deal. And that's what they're going to do. Touch free throws there by Alex Jordan. Yeah, he was money in the bank, boy. No pressure, just put them in. Well, they go to the opposite side of the floor here. Yeah, he was, well, yeah, he was on that side. I'd go way back, bring it, see? Now look, well, now already things are messed Whoa. up, see? Ooh, Reuter has it out Eight, to Peter Wolf. Seven, six, five. Well, there's the travel, not called. Pitcher shot is no good. Eirich with the rebound, just pulls it away. Double overtime. A lot of talking out there. A lot of talking. Well, <laughs> my sheet is only good for one overtime. Here, I'll draw a line. No, 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 don't do it with that pencil. <laughs> oh, that's right, you can just change colors. Just change colors. This will be the black overtime. Of course, we really should just go extended. See it's now? All extension of the fourth quarter. Did they get the, the play that they wanted there out of the timeout? I don't think so. <laughs> It's like, get it to your best player and let him go Kobe 
Kobe Bryant, yeah. one on one. Yeah. See, and they got themselves in trouble there too. You know, all of a sudden, oop, we got to go back, oh. and now Kellner's out there hey, now. Reuters played a nice game, but I don't feel real comfortable with him handling the ball at half court. No, no <laughs> not the guy you want there. He, he makes <laughs> he all. He turned his... around to put the Peter Wolf and almost threw it to him in the back court. Yeah. Holy cow! And no one felt worse about it. You don't want to have those him. kinds of memories of a North South game. No. A lot of handshaking going on out there. You gotta like that. Well, Wilson's no longer uh, jumping center. And <laughs> the two guys are facing the wrong way. <laughs> so uh, I think South won both tips before with Wilson, but it's they gonna did. probably be a lot different this time. I'll take the Whites this time. Hey, the over-under's looking good. <laughs> yeah. Well, North struck first in the overtime. See who gets the first shot here in a second. Nolan Free had a shot blocked, and they're going to call a jump ball. Good and call. Get it. Good call. You know, I don't like that they're not getting the ball inside to Eric because he uh, he's getting open. He's got the man sealed. You just got to make the right pass to him. Correct. They're Good. not recognizing. Yeah, I agree with there. Good idea of feeding new guys into the middle. Much better job. Peter Wolf open on the other side. Hempstein gets himself in a bad spot. Good live hands by Kellner. Reuter can't get it. Pitch, he got it. Tell you what, that was the easiest shot for Reuter and he missed that one, but good effort there by Pitch. Alex Jordan driving hard, Ooh. throws up a wild shot. And then we're gonna get a foul on Alex Jordan going for the rebound. You know, he spotted a little bit of an opening, you know, and he went to it, but uh, the defense was, uh, just got back home. Exactly. Fourth fall on Alex Jordan. South has a two-point lead. Tyson pitch with an opportunity to uh, get it up to four. Neither team, Chris, has ten fouls yet. Pitch now with 24. Andy Poles comes in. And uh, Tyson's clutch on his end, just like Jordan was in the first overtime. Second over, first overtime. I'm getting mixed up here. 305. Nice feed, Andy pulls for two off a nice feed from Tom Eirich. Eirich playing the front defense at the high post. You don't see that very often. Traveled. Short shot, no good. Block, wow. that shot goes in, it's gonna be on Kellner. Shuffled his feet the first time. Got his own rebound. Nine rebounds. Oh, off the bench. We well, talked about in the opening who's going to be an unknown factor. Who? I don't think we mentioned his name at all no. in the opening, but he's made a huge impact here. And a clutch free throw. Five Jake point. has 13 in the game. Five-point lead. Yep, it's huge. There are two... 2.35 remaining, there's time. That's the one we were thought would happen at the end of the first overtime. Another, number 10. A double-double for a guy off the bench. Whoa, just a little bit late. Inside feed, Jake's got it in, Jake Schwarz. Who is that guy? Really, seven point lead by South. Two minutes left. Eirich, got it. Eirich has 16, 18 points, pardon me. South by three. Pitch on a fake and a drive. 
Couldn't get it in. Hemsing on a strong tap back, but he couldn't get it in. And Nolan Free handling the ball well. Keeps the possession. Tim Schwer, oh. rounding out. Whoa. Hemsing with a strong rebound. South has the ball and a three, five point lead, pardon me. Well, Tim Time out for the South Siders. Tim got a great look, just couldn't get it in. Same situation again here. South up by five with a minute 20 left. Same situation as regulation. Had a lead of, I believe, two in, in uh, first overtime and uh, couldn't hold on. I wonder when the last time was it was that North had the lead. It had to be in the first quarter because I think it trade, trailed just about the entire game. Uh, they had a uh, lead to start uh, overtime. They struck first. That's right. They You're hit right. the overtime uh, shot by... Uh, that was uh, it was a three point basket by, by three. Uh, yep. I got my yep. I got my little color markers here too. You people people need to get to the beach. <laughs> you guys need to get to the beach. No, they need to get to the <laughs> weight room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one thing at a time. Yeah, really. Get to the beach first and uh, break, pump your iron or bring it there. Well, we're having fun. Hope they're spinning the dials and having a ball. Really? <laughs> South has the ball and a five-point lead. There's 127 remaining in the ball game. North applying full court pressure. I think they'll Reuter. get out of that 1-3-1 now. Just man up. Yeah, they got almost have to. <clears throat> they almost have to. See, and Jake was thinking that. And Nolan Free on a accidental foul. That's his fourth. But it is a tenth foul on North and Salt, and I'll be shooting two each time they go to the line. Wolf had a three-pointer in the third quarter, had nothing in the fourth quarter, nothing in the first overtime. He now has 12 points, looking for number 13. <laughs> 83-76. Kellner, catch and shoot. No good. Free. Can't get it. South has it. And he pulls on the good hustle. Well, you're down by seven. You're going to need steals and uh, miss free throws, that's for sure. Tyson pitch goes right away from uh, Nolan Free. Can't pick out who you want to foul. That's probably not one of the guys, but uh, tick, 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 tick goes the clock. Well, the thing with Nolan is he has four. Well, in that case, you know, you got guys on the bench. It doesn't matter. Right. No, I understand what you're saying, but when you're out there knowing you got four, <laughs> it makes it tougher. When I players used to tell me that, I said, I would tell them the same thing. I don't care, just follow, you know. Yeah, near, right. Yeah. Not, probably I wouldn't follow uh, Pitch or uh, Peter Wolf. Let's see how Kyle does up here. Kyle has 13 points in the ball game, looking for number 14. And, uh, his Six team rebounds. Yes, yeah, 53.5 seconds remaining. He's also, I was just going to say, he's been so active under the boards, too, being active. That's just the third rebound for Eirich. Kellner going to the hole. Left hand layup rolls off. Schwartz. Long lead feed to good pitch, decision, and he keeps it back out. That's a good move. You're right, Chris. TJ Kellner, that's his fourth.
Well, the student section's yelling this game's over, but uh, South missed their last three free throws. I think Coach Schultz would like to make a couple just to make sure it's over. Right, exactly. They're up seven with 32.6 seconds remaining. Peter Wolf breaks the ice for the Red Wings. And he pulls at it, stolen away by Schwartz. Cool. I'll and tell you. And foul on Nolan Free is his fifth. Wow, we. Chris Wright is going to go downstairs, see if he can get some interviews following the ball game. It's 84 76 south on top, and they'll be shooting some free throws. Jake Schwartz will. Derek Diesing comes in for North to replace Free. It's been a whale of a ball game. South has had contributions from many different players tonight. And not all of them starters. Schwartz so far from the line is five for five. We we'll get a couple more. Ooh, brick that one. And miss that one. Irick with the rebound. North down eight. They need to get some points in quick. Catch and shoot by Kellner is no good. Schwer with the rebound. Kicks it out to Irick. His 12-footer is no good. Reuter with the rebound. There's 10 seconds remaining. Deasing with the foul. South is going to win this one. And they've played a heck of a ball game tonight. Give them a lot of credit. Early in the ball game, North had a big advantage from uh, shooting free throws, free throw attempts. South has certainly made up that uh, difference here in the fourth quarter and in overtime. Kellner, no good, and that's the buzzer. Sheboygan South with a convincing win over Sheboygan North, 85 to 76. It's gotta be a gratifying win for Tim Schultz having lost three to the Northsiders last year. Saw students coming out on the floor. I'm gonna get those kids off, let the team shake hands. Coach Wright down there trying to get uh, a couple interviews. We're going to step out for a minute. When we come back, we'll have some uh, interviews and some final totals from uh, tonight's great ball game. A double overtime win by Sheboygan South, 85-76. Let's play a game. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Drivers face all kinds of distractions. Before your wireless phone becomes one of them, stop. Drive safely. Keep your phone in easy reach and dial sensibly. In bad weather or traffic, call later and use a hands-free device. Remember, with wireless, safety is your call. 
tell you what, 350 to get in here is worth every penny. Congratulations, gentlemen. Kyle, what a team effort. I mean, up and down your lineup, you got contributions tonight. It's just one or the other. I mean, what a team effort. Definitely. We all we all had to come together to pull this one out and just total team effort. I thought I just the athletes on your team and you know you only had six boards with eight, you know, six or seven taps and you know, everybody getting different taps and uh you know, that kind of stuff, like I said, what, what an effort by you guys. Definitely. It helps when you crash the boards a lot, and when everyone's crashing the boards, it's going to be hard to stop the other team. Well, I know it's, you played very well on Tuesday, didn't get the victory, but I think some of that kind of carried over tonight. Definitely. Uh, we had a lot of confidence after doing our doing our best against Bradley Tech, and we know we can play with a tough team like that, so that helped a lot here tonight. North comes out in that 1-3-1 one, one in the second quarter and slows you guys down a little bit. But, you know, as it went along, you guys really started to break it, found the wings open up there a little bit and really kind of took care of that and kind of took them back out of their 1-3-1, one, one, go back to man-to-man. -man. Yeah, we worked on them in practice and it helped, out, helped a little bit, but still we had a little trouble, but got through it good. All well, came out good in the end. Well, congratulations. You Thank played you. an outstanding game. You're all over the floor. Uh, Tyson, wow, what, a, what an effort. Second quarter, you didn't get to play much at all, got into foul trouble, but the boys really stepped up and picked it up uh, for you so you could come back in the second half. Well, I, with two fouls, you know, I, I wasn't able to play the second quarter, and it, like you said, they stepped up, uh, they hustled, they shot well, they passed the ball. We knew it was going to come at us. We, we, didn't play against a very, we didn't play very good against the zone in Notre Dame. Uh, we worked against a 2-3 and a 1-3-1 in practice all week. So I think that really showed tonight. I know it's kind of sound like a broken record, the same old story, but you got contributions from a lot of kids. A lot of people hitting threes there. Hempson got a three there. You know, you had some earlier. Kyle, my God, everybody can pump up those threes. That's kind of fun to watch. Well, it helps, too, because if you only have one shooter on the team, it's easy to, you know, defend. But if you have three, four, even five guys that are able to shoot the three, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to help and, you know, double team as much. Kind of a new building here. Uh, kind of different playing in this compared to the armory. It's a lot different. It's a, you know, I kind of miss the armory. It's a tradition, but you know, we got the job done. It's same game, just new place. Well, I thought it was kind of neat too. You guys finished that last game last year in overtime. You started this one in overtime, made a difference. And you know, I was kind of thinking up there. Uh, a lot of you guys played in the same type situation just a year ago, and here you put back in the same spot. Well, overtime, we had what two or three overtime games last year. We just weren't able to put it out. So we do have a lot of experience in that. Uh, tonight, we just. We out hustled them and we finished the game. Well, in conclusion, uh, what can this do to you guys? Uh, a little momentum now. You got one and one in league play, and you know you played two tough teams already. But this should carry a lot of uh, mojo for you guys later on. Oh, definitely. But we try to take it one game at a time. You know, this game's over. We're gonna f put this in the back of our minds now. Now we got uh, a Milwaukee team coming up on Tuesday, so we're just gonna try to play the same game we did tonight. I tell you what, put it back in, your, in the back of your mind tomorrow like afternoon but enjoy it for right now That's congratulations nice. Tyson uh, with that we'll take it back to Marty great job on the interview guys let's go through some of the scoring for Sheboygan South Kyle Reuter had 13 points a great job off the bench for him Jake Biederwolf one of the starting guards had 14 points Tyson Pitch you saw him in the interview down there had some great comments he had 25 points led all scorers in the game tonight Nick Wilson and Chris Hemsing chipped in with eight apiece Jake Schwartz off the bench 15 points, and rounding out the scoring for the Red Wings was Andy Lancer with two. For the North High Golden Raiders, Andy Poles had seven points. Derek Deasing had 11, had a couple of big three-pointers in that fourth-quarter comeback. Nolan Free had 16 points before he fouled out in the second overtime. Alex Jordan had six, hit a couple of big free throws in the first overtime to tie up the ball game. Uh, Tim Schwer had four. T.J. Kellner didn't have nearly the game he had at Manitowoc. He had 13 points. South did a great job of shutting him down. Steve Lacey had a point. And then rounding out the scoring and leading the scoring for Sheboygan North was Tim Eirich. He had 18 points. The uh, win for South boosts their record to 3-2 uh, and two overall, 1-1 one one in conference. Uh, Sheboygan North drops to 3-2 and two overall and 2-1 and one in conference. Our next ball game isn't going to be until the new year, January 3rd. That's a Wednesday night when we're out at Lakeland College. They'll be hosting Concordia of uh, Mequon. With that, a great job by the crew. For my partner, Mike, for my partner, Tim, <laughs> are we live? For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.